In the previous video, we've published the list of upcoming new variant fighter jets with major upgrades. Well, that was the first part, and you can watch the video in the link given here. Today, we'll present another list on the same topic, so stay tuned and do not go anywhere. So firstly, we have the Tejas Mark 1A, which is an improved version of the Tejas Mark 1 aircraft. The Tejas Mark 1A is a multi-role fighter with a tailless compound delta wing design that provides greater close combat, high speed and high alpha performance than cruciform wing designs. It has relaxed static stability for enhanced maneuverability and agility. It is equipped with ELM-2052 and UTAM AESA radar, self-protection jammer, improved avionics and core systems, radar warning receiver, as well as being able to mount an external ECM pod. Before 2020, the Indian Air Force is scheduled to make 8 billion US dollars order for 83 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. Thales might be the manufacturer of the AESA radar. On 13th January 2021, the first order for 73 Mark 1A aircraft was placed. Up next is the Chinese Chengdu J-20B. The variant will likely feature upgraded power plants that will add thrust vectoring controls, as well as increased power to the J-20's capabilities and possibly more. It's been speculated that the new J-20B's power plants will be an upgraded version of the indigenous Chinese WS-10 Taihang engines that power the fighter's most recent production models. In November 2018, a thrust vectoring variation of this engine was unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show and demonstrated in flight on a J-10B single-engine fighter. Stronger engines paired with thrust vectoring would potentially let the aircraft to fly and maneuver at considerably higher altitudes, extending the range of its sensors and improving the kinematic performance of its missiles. The SU-34 modernization program, also known as SU-34M, is intended to make the SU-34 platform more resilient in the 2020s. The SU-34M with several advanced features has been modernized based on the operational experience and currently the development work is focused on the Tarantula Electronic Warfare System, which will make the aircraft or a group of aircraft resistant to hostile radar detection as well as enhanced performance avionics that may assist improved flight characteristics. A laser jammer system to blind infrared-guided missiles and electro-optical sighting systems is another feature that might be included in the SU-34M. A new version of the KH-35 anti-ship missile and a new generation of aeroballistic missiles might be included in the SU-34M armament system. Up next is the Super Sukhoi. The Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI aircraft fleet will be upgraded into Super Sukhoi, which will bring a lot of changes and heavy upgrades. In July 2016, India and Russia were discussing a contract for the Super Sukhoi to be upgraded with 194 numbers at a cost of $8 billion. The first Super Sukhoi prototype will be manufactured in Russia with the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited doing the modifications in India. The Super Sukhoi will have better stealth, longer-range missiles, AESA radar, a supersonic cruise missile and a new avionic suite with strong jamming and warning systems. The fighter will be equipped with semi-stealth capabilities and as for armament, it will be equipped with more Indian-made weapons like Astra Mark one SAAW ITCMR. Up next is the JF-17A Block 3. The Pakistan Air Force has placed an order for 50 JF-17 Block 3 fighter jets with delivery set to begin in early 2022. The first flight test was in Chengdu, China on 15 December 2019. It will be equipped with a new electronic warfare system, improved avionics including a three-axis fly-by-wire digital flight control system, a helmet-mounted display and sight system and AESA radar system. This new radar is more discreet and jam-resistant than its preceding class. Radars of JF-17 Block 3 might have a combat range of over 170 kilometers. These technologies enable the Block 3 variant to track 15 targets while engaging four targets simultaneously. 
The climb of RD-93MA after burning turbofan will be ultimately replaced by the Guizhou WS-13, which has better thrust-to-weight ratio. Up next is the HL Tejas Mark II. With an extended airframe, close-linked canards, additional sensors, and a more powerful engine, it is an upgraded version of the HAL Tejas. The Tejas Mark II is anticipated to fly for the first time in 2023, with series production to begin by 2026. It will have an infrared search and track system and a missile approach warning system, as well as a version of the Uttam AESA radar developed by Electronics and Radar Development Establishment. An increase in payload capacity to 6,500 kg and internal fuel capacity to over 3,400 kg will allow it to carry more weapons for longer range. To achieve a degree of frontal stealth, many radar cross-section lowering techniques will be integrated into the airframe design, including radar absorbent material coating and composites that make up its skin, as well as twisted air intake ducts. Up next is the M346FA. This is a fighter attack and a further evolution of the M346 jet trainer. It is an attack variant capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface combat with a 3-ton payload spread over 7 hardpoints, equipped with advanced Griffo M346 multi-mode fire control radar, countermeasures and stealth features, including engine intake grids and radar-absorbing coatings on the canopy and wing-leading edge. It is being marketed as a light attack aircraft, also suitable for aggressor and companion training purposes. The aircraft was unveiled in a static demonstration during the 2017 Paris Air Show on 18 June 2017. Lastly, we have the EA-18G Block 3. The Super Hornet's Block 3 structural enhancements will be incorporated into the EA-18G Block 3 electronic attack aircraft. The next-generation jammer will be installed on the aircraft, allowing it to operate in difficult electromagnetic conditions. The EA-18G Block 3 will be capable of handling more data and transferring it more quickly than the existing Growler aircraft. In addition, conformal fuel tanks will increase the range and time on station, and according to U.S. Navy plans, the whole Growler fleet will be upgraded to the new Block 3 standard. The first aircraft was upgraded to Block 3 in March 2021, and it is scheduled to return to service before 2025. And with that, we've come to the end of the video, but don't forget to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.